Hello. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday School at St. John Shaughnessy this morning. Uh, this morning, we are celebrating the Feast of Epiphany. Now, normally we would bring our bell, but actually um, we're getting some new floors put in this week. So everything in our house is packed away and we're kind of down to the bare bones. So uh, we're going to have a bare bones. So this week we're doing two things. We're, we're celebrating the Feast of Epiphany and we're going to talk about how we're going to do that. Um, and what you're going to need for that craft is a piece of chalk and uh, some paper. So you can either have sparkly, we have found some sparkly paper at the dollar store, which I've cut into stars or any paper that you want and some tape. So a piece of chalk, paper and tape and something to write on. So, um, oh, yeah. I'm coming. Okay, great, quick sticks. Okay, so at the beginning of each year, the Feast of the Epiphany is actually the end of Christmas, and we celebrated it on church on Sunday, and in our house we celebrated it on, on Thursday, Wednesday? Wednesday, the 6th, it's on the 6th of January, and we celebrated it at home. Uh, it, was two, it was Wednesday. Um, but... It's a day when the it's when we celebrate. What do we celebrate in Epiphany? What what's the part God. of the story? God. It's when who comes to see the baby Jesus? Wise men. The wise men come to see the baby Jesus, and they come from the east. It's one of the few stories in our Bible of uh, people who are not either Jewish or who are not Jewish or Christian who come to see the baby Jesus. It's it's sort of it's a neat story from that perspective. And it's when they come and they see the baby Jesus. And it's a time when we celebrate our hope and God and wisdom. And so, at the, and it comes at the, right at the beginning of our year. And at the beginning of the year, what do people like to do, Amelia? Make their new year um, Re resolution. Resolution. So often people will, I wonder what your resolutions are. Often people will say things like, I'm going to exercise more. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to be nicer to my sister. And how well does that work out? Not really well. Often it doesn't work out. People have really good intentions. But then it doesn't, but then they fall down short. They fall down short and then they often feel bad. Well, that's not what we're doing. What we're going to do today on our pieces of paper on our, that I've cut, you can cut them into stars. Amelia did one just on a shiny piece of paper. And it's hard to see, but it says things, it has God in the middle and no COVID and cake and friends, and me, and wisdom, and peace, and love. So I think that it, it's it's very much what she hopes for the year. Yeah, um, I want to be in love. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good for you. Um, so, but, so what I want us to do on these is we can write down our own hopes for the year, but I'm actually wanting to do this. I want us to write down, oh, we don't need to glue it because we're going to actually tape it, love. But anyway, no, I want us to write I'm down. Okay. All right. So what I want us to do on these little stars that we, I've, I cut out a star, you can cut out a star. I got this at the dollar store, the paper, it's just shiny. Um, and I've got my Sharpie. Um, and is to write down what our hopes for our house are, for our whole family, for the place that we live. And that'll become why we do that. It becomes apparent a little bit later on when we're gonna go outside. So I'm when I'm sort of hoping for our house that our house is a place of love. That everyone who comes in and out our house knows that it's a place of love. So I wrote love on one. What what things are you hoping for our house, Amelia? I wonder what what no COVID is. So Amelia has no COVID, a place of no COVID. I think a place of safety. That might be another way to say that, a place of safety. And I hope that our house is a place of peace. Mm. So that people are well, peaceful. It is a place of peace. It is a place of peace. Yeah, often, sometimes, you know, sometimes things are a little hard. So I've written those things and I wonder what you guys hope. So I would take some time and think about what you hope your hopes are for your house, for the people who, your family, who live in your house and your family it could be your mom and your dad your siblings it could be your pets it could be everyone who comes in and out of your house and i know not we don't have visitors coming in and out of our houses these days but everybody who comes in and out the doors and so take some time to do that and then we're going to see you outside okay see you soon hi welcome back so here we are we're outside our house and we have a piece of chalk 
and we have our stars ready to go. So we're gonna chalk our doors. Now chalking the doors is a very ancient practice. It sort of lived a lot in Europe, in, in England, but it's where people uh, on Epiphany write a certain numbers on the door. So what you write on the door, it starts, I'm gonna show you on the top of our door. So it says 20, which stands for the year 20, uh, plus, and the pluses, what do the pluses stand for, Amelia? Jesus. Jesus, those are crosses. And then CMB, and I know ours looks backwards on the screen, but it's CMB. It's the wise men's name. It's the wise men's names. Caspar, Balthazar, and Mel Mel Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. Or, it actually in Latin also stands for Christus Meniosum Benedictat, which means Christ bless this house. And so what we're going to do seems appropriate this year with COVID is to ask God to bless Christ to bless our house. So Amelia is going to do that and we're going to do it really simple. Normally we do it with blessed chalk and a longer service, but I think this year keeping things as simple is good. So here we go. So, so by the light of the wise men, by the wisdom of God, may God bless this house and all who come in our house this year in 2021. All right, and so now we're gonna take our stars and Amelia's gonna put them on our house, on our door or on our house. And the idea is that everyone who comes in and out of our house, which I know most people are not coming in and out of our house, but it's a reminder to us of what we want our house to be and our hopes and asking God to bless our house this year. So I hope you guys do that. Um, I hope you have chalk at home. I can give you chalk if you need some and we can even bless it. But we're trying to keep things simple this year with COVID um, and we will, we will carry on. So there we go. May God bless this house. All right, guys. See you next week. God bless. Bye-bye.